Welcome to Inside Builder channel. Open source enthusiasts, my friends. How Matrix lets you build and own communication. We are going to discuss about the messaging platform that is a federation of servers called as Matrix. We will be diving into the goals, into the capabilities of Matrix and its ecosystem. And finally, we will see the cost of owning the Matrix server. From there on, we will fork into multiple routes where we will try to own the server and also try to use the server and understand more about it. Let's move forward. The goal of Matrix platform is to be a ubiquitous messaging platform for syncing your data. What does this mean? What is the meaning of syncing? Let's move forward. If you think about it, you might have right now on your own phone, you might have at least three messaging platform applications. You might have multiple mail IDs and uh, you might work with various other channels like Slack, Jira, if it depends on your work. And apart from that, you will have your own personal network of people with whom you will collaborate most of the time. What does this mean is that your communication has patterns, it has channels. There are automation opportunities that is available inside these patterns and channels. Someone has to own this data that is flowing through your applications and your software. There is intelligence around it and you can build community around your communication. This is how the world is right now working. Think about any of the product or service that you are buying. It already has a kind of a community around it. People are talking about it. There is usage cases and there are benefits in using a particular service or a product or going towards a particular route in your life. So all this has the potential when you are going to communicate. What if you own the communication? Because at this moment, if you take a look at your phone or, or on your laptop, if you take a look at your various applications that is running, you actually don't own your data or your own communication. It is owned by someone else because you are actually using their service. The matrix manifesto is to give full control to the people, that is you. Second is, you should not be locked in any kind of communication silos. That is, to move seamlessly between one application to another communication app without any kind of barrier. The messages that you are writing on your mail ID, mail server, should be easily get ported to your messaging platform without any kind of barrier or any kind of API or paywalls. That should be security and privacy when you are conversing. There should not be any kind of data that is getting leaked from your communication. And finally, the communication should be free and open, meaning it should be free and open for your own usage, for with privacy and with security. The open here is more about how the data and how the patterns that the communication is creating, the channels are creating is used. The free in this case is how the applications and the software that is running or making your communication possible is being charged. All this is made possible by Matrix. How Matrix does it? Matrix is a distributed chat room with the server and client architecture. It is a trusted federation, trusted group of federation servers which can accept third party IDs. It can use public key for user verification and it can use your own email IDs, your own social network handles as a trusted uh, party IDs and link it with matrix IDs. Apart from this, matrix the software itself is extremely open, so it is extensible in all format. Whether it is user management, whether it is room state or profile management, you can extend it in the way that you like. Because the code around the servers, the clients, the bridges and integration, everything is open source. 
you will be seeing about this in a couple of minutes. Let's dive a bit into architecture. But before I dive into the architecture here, I would like you to take a look at this particular spec dot matrix dot org. It is part of the matrix website dot org website. Here you can see that the entire specification, it's, it's part of the open standard where all the server API, client APIs, application server level APIs, gateway APIs, everything specification has been kept open. Due to this openness, anybody can take these APIs and start developing on top of it. If you are a web developer, if you are a backend developer, front end developer, you can start contributing and you can start creating your own applications. And believe me, there is a lot and lots of applications that is surrounding the matrix ecosystem. Let's continue to the discussion. The architecture of matrix is simple. There is going to be a server and the client is going to be with you and there are going to be services that integrate this server and the clients. The services part is the most important thing. These services are what is running your communication right now. What I mean by running? The communication that you are having with your friends, or uh, with your customers, with your uh, office colleagues, it is all run through various softwares and all these softwares are hosted and uh, managed by people and companies. And these companies, they don't open source their softwares, right? This is where the ownership of the communication comes into picture. If these services can share the data between you directly and your matrix server, then you can have the data back in your hand. This is what matrix makes it possible using various ecosystem softwares. We will be seeing how it is done. Apart from that, each server inside the matrix ecosystem has no power. So what I mean that it has no power. All these servers internal to matrix does not own your data. It can actually store your data, but it does not own it. And it cannot see what the data is. It is completely encrypted. Meaning if you are connected to this server that is in the left side of this slide, and also you are connected to the server that is on the right side, these two servers will share the data with you and it will take the data from you and store it internally. But it cannot, the manage, the admin of the server cannot see the data until unless he has the sufficient level of power. And most of the time, this level of power control is granted by the person who is working on the server, whether he is creating the room, whether he is becoming the user, whichever part of the aspect that he is doing, he can take control. This is one of the key aspects that I want you guys to understand. When it comes to clients, clients are again open source, which is like all the messaging apps and messenger apps that you have been using till date. It is very similar to that and apart from that, the messages that you can send can be audio, video, text and pictures. There is no restrictions there. It is already established that you can do all these things in an extensible fashion also. Apart from that, this is where the kicker is. As I already told you that it's a federation of servers. It does not, the servers don't keep ownership of your data. It actually just stores it. And whenever your home server or someone else's home server comes and connects, it shares the data. Now the question is, what is a home server? As I was already explaining that Matrix is a federation of servers. So all these servers are basically home servers that is run by individuals. The individuals could be uh, a small business, it could be a single person who wants to explore Matrix like you and it could be a team which is trying to collaborate on open source software and trying to make their uh, life easier by using various uh, time management uh, applications and services and all the services are again linked into Matrix. All these things are automated with Matrix box. That's where the entire ecosystem comes in. But before we dive into the ecosystem, I would like to show you the components of a matrix server. Let us take your own server. So assume that you own a server. So inside the server, there will be rooms and there will be spaces also, which I have not mentioned here. It's little more uh, 
complex to go into spaces in the beginning, but rooms will be okay. And inside the rooms, if you are having someone inside the room, you should have, you should use it for communication. So for communicating, you will have devices. It could be your mobile device. It could be your uh, browser through which you are connecting to the room. Whatever fashion you are going to connect, that will be considered as a device. Even the user through the devices is considered as a another device. Each device will create an event. So these events are what drives the communication. These events are what the APIs manage and uh, move it between the servers. There can be multiple rooms and multiple rooms can be collected inside the space. Once you understand how to work with your own server, then you can start connecting with public servers and you can start federating your server to other people who are outside your network. And you can invite people from outside the network also to come and join to your own server. We will be seeing the cost and the return of investment in a couple of minutes. Let's go down. I believe that you like this video. Do leave a like, share it with others and most importantly, share it with others. Because Matrix is kind of an open communication platform which takes, uh, takes a collective push from every one of us to make it, uh, make it uh, spread across the entire ecosystem. So as of now, you might be seeing that your own friend circle or your own business circle even may not know about Matrix. Even I did not know about Matrix before three or four days until one of my own channel subscribers had um, made me aware of this particular software and I started digging in to understand about this. So do move forward and uh, try it out. Uh, you can actually visit matrix.org. If you visit matrix.org, you can actually, if you visit the, the main uh, matrix server, you can, you can see there are lots of uh, other, uh, just a minute. Let me open matrix.org. So in this, once you go into the ecosystem, you'll see that uh, there is uh, clients, there is bridges and there is servers. If you go into the servers, you'll see there are lots of existing servers and also there are open source servers also. So you can, uh, you can try to connect with any of the servers. And another important thing is the documentation. If you go to the documentation, you can see that you can go to the public rooms. So these public rooms are places where you can explore matrix. So do visit these rooms, try to connect with them and uh, experience matrix and then come back. That's where the funds going to start. Okay. I am not just trying to tell you to use matrix. Okay. That is very simple. So if you are going to use them, use the matrix, you have to just go to a public server and you have to give your Gmail or whatever email IDs you have got and you can enter into it. But my intention is that you start running a server and what it means to run a server. I mean, you may be from a background where you may not even know what is a ABCD of a server or what is even networking. That doesn't matter. Nowadays, there is no barrier for learning. Anybody can learn any new concepts in matter of, you know, in matter of days to months, depending on how much knowledge you have in your current area. In order to own a matrix server, the cost at this moment, the, the moment I am actually making this video is around less than uh, 35 US dollar or 3500 INR per month. It's much way, way less cheaper, way less compared to actually sharing your data with the world. Think about it with the data that you are sharing along with your friends, along with your family and your circle. There are people who are making a lot of money. And why not, once you can actually own your own data and your own server, maybe you can learn and you can understand how your data is helping out. In order to own a server, you will need a domain name. There is no workaround for the domain name. You need to have a domain name. The free domains that is available around the internet will not cut it. I will be explaining it to you why in a couple of minutes. After you own the domain name, to this domain name, you need to connect a public IP, meaning an IP that can be pinged from the internet. So from anywhere in the internet, if you ping this IP, then it should be reachable. So that is called a public IP. And once you connect that public IP to the domain name, 
then you can connect the server to that public API. So this is how the entire server works. How these connections happen, how to uh, get a IP and how to work with the server, that will be discussed in the next video. Apart from the IP and apart from the cloud server, you will need Ubuntu 22.04 which is free of cost and a terminal connection on which you can run the commands. All these things, if you see, most of the things are free. The hardware part is having some cost. The hardware part cost is what I have mentioned here. Apart from that, bringing up the server is done by you. I am assuming that you are going to do it. And if you are going to pull any of your friends to help you out on this, I mean, they will also they will also learn about this technology and also they will understand the benefits and the opportunity around this particular technology. Let's move forward. So at less than 35 US dollars or less than 3000 INR, you are going to own the communication. What else does Matrix bring? So it, it is having customized, customizable and extensible platform. It can build communities. You can actually build your own communities by using your own server. You can have a good deal of cost savings and ROI because the data is going to be stored with you. You are not going to share the data with anybody and you can run your own bots on the platform that you are going to create. That is the server that you are going to create and you set the rules of the server. You don't, uh, you don't listen to the rules that is set by other managers of that particular platform. So the server is yours and the same way when you are going to go to another server there will be a different set of rules which you have to learn. It's more like a open source collaboration, collaborative environment where you, you decide how to run your own business and another person decides how to run their own communication, another person decides how to run their own community etc. The most important point is to collaborate, to invite people and work with them together. So that's the key aspect of running and owning a server. But that's all boring, right? When you think about it, the most important part is the bridges. What is bridges? The bridges are piece of, pieces of plugins and softwares that can connect third party services like various messaging and uh, project management and uh, you know your social network services with your matrix server. This is one of the most important aspect of this matrix ecosystem because your communication from any of these services can be easily ported into the matrix environment and those communication data will be yours. Again, I'm repeating the data that is coming, that is moving into all this area, all this uh, services can be bridged into your matrix server, into your matrix client. So there are various clients that you can see here and all these clients are open source. There are various other integrations that you can do that, that I have listed here. You can actually find these details in the matrix.org website also. The reason why I am pulling this all together in one place is that you can get an overview of what's matrix and how you can use it. Coming to the heart of the matrix, that is the servers. The servers are built on open source softwares, uh, open source programming languages like Python, Go, Rust, C, C++. All the majority of softwares have been used, uh, programming languages have been used and the servers have been generated. There is no barrier when it comes to using these servers. There is, the, there is no physical barrier, but there is going to be a good deal of technical barrier with, uh, with these kinds of servers and clients. But there is nothing going to stop you. There are the technology that is uh, surrounding these uh, various servers, the clients, the bridges have been made so simple and there are so many YouTube videos surrounding these uh, integrations, bridges, servers, etc. For you to bring up the server, if you have the domain name, the cloud IP and uh, if you are going to have your own spare laptop, then it's going to be very, very simple. It, the project might actually take two to three days depending on your level of uh, level of experience in the technology uh, technology domain if you are even new completely new to learn about domain name to learn about how the ip address work how the cloud server work maximum it might take two and a half months not more than that believe me if you think that 
uh, learning about technology is very tough. Actually, it's not. Moving forward, the idea here is that I have introduced you to the basics of uh, the ecosystem of uh, Matrix. I have showed you how the what is required for owning the Matrix server, how to even go and access the matrix.org and uh, get into various public servers. The, the next video we, we will discuss on how to own your own server. So I will be trying to walk you through in uh, getting the getting hold of a domain name, getting hold of uh, the uh, public IP or the cloud IP, connecting them together, running the server and uh, bringing it up. All these things I will be sharing it with you in the next video. And also the most important thing is in the next video, I will be sharing the challenges that I faced in bringing up these, uh, bringing up the server. Once you understand the challenges, right? And once you know how to solve it, then you will actually see that, okay, uh, I mean, when some, when you see someone struggle and when they, uh, when they actually move out of that struggle and uh, enjoy their life, then you, you will get inspired. So that is my main intention of creating the next video. I believe that you like this uh, videos and uh, the forthcoming videos. Do leave a like, share it with others and subscribe to my channel for further updates on similar kind of videos. Till the next video, explore, 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 explore. See you guys. Have a great time.